Game semantics is an approach to formal semantics that grounds the concepts of truth or validity on game theoretic concepts, such as the existence of a winning strategy for a player, somewhat resembling Socratic dialogues or medieval theory of obligationness. History in the late 1950s Paul Lorenzan was the first to introduce a game semantics for logic, and it was further developed by Kuno Lorenz. At almost the same time as Lorenzen, Jaco Hintica developed a model theoretical approach known in the literature as GTS. Since then, a number of different game semantics have been studied in logic. Shahid Rahman and collaborators developed Dialogic into a general framework for the study of logical and philosophical issues related to logical pluralism. At around 1995 this triggered a kind of renaissance with lasting consequences. Actually this new philosophical impulse experienced a parallel renewal in the fields of theoretical computer science, computational linguistics artificial intelligence and the formal semantics of programming languages triggered by the work of Johan van Bentham and collaborators in Amsterdam, who looked thoroughly at the interface between logic and games. New results in linear logic by J.Y. Gerard in the interfaces between mathematical game theory and logic on one hand and argumentation theory and logic on the other hand resulted in the work of many others, including S. Abramsky, Van Bentham, Blass, Gabe, Highland, Hodges, Jagadizen, Japaradza, Crab, Ong, Prakin, Sandu D, Walton, and J. Woods who placed game semantics at the center of a new concept in logic in which logic is understood as a dynamic instrument of inference, classical logic. The simplest application of game semantics is to propositional logic. Each formula of this language is interpreted as a game between two players, known as the verifier and the falsifier. The verifier is given ownership of all the disjunctions in the formula, and the falsifier is likewise given ownership of all the conjunctions. Each move of the game consists of allowing the owner of the dominant connective to pick one of its branches. Play will then continue in that subformula, with whichever player controls its dominant connective making the next move. Play ends when a primitive proposition has been so chosen by the two players. At this point the verifier is deemed the winner if the resulting proposition is true, and the falsifier is deemed the winner if it is false. The original formula will be considered true precisely when the verifier has a winning strategy, while it will be false whenever the falsifier has the winning strategy. If the formula contains negations or implications, other, more complicated, techniques may be used. For example, the negation should be true if the thing negated is false, so it must have the effect of interchanging the roles of the two players. More generally, Game semantics may be applied to predicate logic, the new rules allow a dominant quantifier to be removed by its owner, and its bound variable, replaced at all occurrences by an object of the owner's choosing, drawn from the domain of quantification. Note that a single counterexample falsifies a universally quantified statement and a single example suffices to verify an existentially quantified one. Assuming the axiom a choice, the game theoretical semantics for classical first-order logic agree with the usual model-based semantics. For classical first-order logic the winning strategy for the verifier essentially consists of finding adequate scolim functions and witnesses. For example, if S denotes then an equisatisfiable statement for S is the scolum function f actually codifies a winning strategy for the verifier of s by returning a witness for the existential subformula for every choice of x the falsifier might make. The above definition was first formulated by Yako Hintika as part of his GTS interpretation. The original version of game semantics for classical logic due to Paul Lorenz and Kuno Lorenz was not defined in terms of models but of winning strategies over formal dialogues.
Shahid Rahman and Tero Tulin Haimo developed an algorithm to convert GTS winning strategies for classical logic into the dialogical winning strategies, and vice versa. For most common logics, including the ones above, the games that arise from them have perfect information, that is, the two players always know the truth values of each primitive, and are aware of all preceding moves in the game. However, with the advent of game semantics, logics, such as the independence-friendly logic of Hintika and Sandu, with the natural semantics in terms of games of imperfect information have been proposed. Intuitionistic logic, denotational semantics, linear logic, logical pluralism. The primary motivation for Lorenzen and Kuno Lorenz was to find a game theoretic semantics for intuitionistic logic. Andreas Blass was the first to point out connections between game semantics and linear logic. This line was further developed by Samson Abramsky, Radhakrishnan Jagadizan, Pasquale Malakaria and independently Martin Highland and Lu Kong, who placed special emphasis on compositionality, i.e., the definition of strategies inductively on the syntax, using game semantics. The authors mentioned above have solved the long-standing problem of defining a fully abstract model for the programming language PCF. Consequently, game semantics has led to fully abstract semantic models for a variety of programming languages and to new semantic directed methods of software verification by software model checking. Shahid Rahman and Helga Ruckett extended the dialogical approach to the study of several non-classical logics such as modal logic, irrelevance logic, free logic and connexive logic. Recently, Rahman and collaborators developed the dialogical approach into a general framework aimed at the discussion of logical pluralism, quantifiers. Foundational considerations of game semantics have been more emphasized by Yako Hintika and Gabriel Sandu, especially for independence-friendly logic, a logic with branching quantifiers. It was thought that the principle of compositionality fails for these logics, so that a Tarski and truth definition could not provide a suitable semantics. To get around this problem, the quantifiers were given a game theoretic meaning. Specifically, the approach is the same as in classical propositional logic, except that the players do not always have perfect information about previous moves by the other player. Wilfred Hodges has proposed a compositional semantics and proved it equivalent to game semantics for if logics. Foundational considerations have motivated the works of others, such as Japarids's computability logic.